Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We'll continue on with our Baldur's Gate 3 series. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and comment on the channel. Let's continue on. We didn't die today. Tomorrow, perhaps, but not today. Thanks to you. Well, oh, you're welcome. What do you think of opening a car, Tinball? Alright, well, let's go to camp. <clears throat> Talk to him. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. Oh? It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. <laughs> uh, dude. I assure you, I've dreamt of it a thousand times over. Ah, uh, huh. Well, you won't find a more learned opinion on this matter, I assure you. Ah, uh, how about no? <laughs> no, 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 no. You only have a matter of days to live. Don't dally, my friend. Ah, another. Thy name has been recorded. Okay. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. What are you? There are many answers to that question. None are important. All right, let's do this. Focus on divine energy from his presence. Oh. Wow, I suck. Nat 20. Ah, so close. Yeah, no. There is a great divine energy indeed, but the source is unclear. What are you doing? Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. Mm. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Uh, are there any other ways Should to Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. Oh, so you can resurrect people. Because it is my calling, there is little else to explain. Really, I can change my class with him as well.
Let's end the day. Oh, that's right, the tieflings coming to party. Hope you're enjoying the night, hero. I certainly am. Cheers to many more like this. good it feels to see these people smiling. The singing we could probably do without, <laughs> but even so, thank you. I'll sing. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. In truth, I rarely imbibe. The stuff goes right to my head. Before you know it, I'd be breaking into song or declaring love to the first person I laid eyes on. Fail to see the problem. Why not? Then you have never heard me singing, which makes you very fortunate. Hmm, I'm sure there are. You strike me as extremely... resourceful. But there are many grateful people here who want to spend time with you. I must not keep you all to myself. As enjoyable as that may be. Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. She wants to chit chat. She's not gonna kill anyone. I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Neogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades. Yet they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. <laughs> I smell their blood on you still. I smell your sweat. I mean to taste it. Uh yeah. Sorry, but I'm not interested in you like that. Yeah. I respect your error. There are, after all, other spreads before me. <laughs> I will not go long without pleasure. Well, that's good. Shari! <laughs> that's infernal for cheers. Or possibly turn it. Right. Live out here under the stars. It's a bed and a roof for me. But off you go, Master Ranger. Without you. I need to dance. No. No, I need to lie down. <laughs> Think of it. No more caves, no more tents, no more running away. We'll be in a city with roads and markets and homes. Just the camera. Look at them all. Guzzling poison like we've the right to be happy. I'll use my charisma. Join them. Have a pint or two. Yeah, okay, so I need to roll a three or better. Come on, at 20. God damn, I barely failed that. Hmm. Perhaps it'll make the evening more tolerable. Oh, 
let's see what she's praying about. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Char? What? <laughs> no, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, desperate people. Like those refugees. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. Not so odd, we did the right thing. That's more easily said by some than others. But nobody's here to debate right from wrong. Share a bottle with me? Another As time. you like. Try not to tire yourself out too much. Starting to see a lot of possible romance options in this game. You guys haven't noticed, I'm pretty much playing this blinded. I haven't looked anything up or anything like that. So, it's all very new and interesting to me. Like a blind playthrough. Child. You came through for us. That's a change from most adults I know. Sounded dangerously close to a compliment. And that sounds like the wine drowning your wits. Go on, enjoy yourself. I've squirreled away a few extra bottles. When the barrel's tapped out, I'll be there to save the night. For a price, of course. Talk to everybody. Them. Yeah. That one. Lots of target practice dummies around here. Alright, so. Let's go to bed. Full rest. The buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. You've picked up a few pleasant memories on your journey amongst your struggles. You sleep alone, uplifted by memories of your recent triumphs. I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done, and I promised I would help you however I could. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous. Though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. I suppose it was too much to hope we were going to be cured here and now. To Moonrise then. What's a dangerous spot? To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. You could go overland along the risen road or through the mountains. Easier at first, 
but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Oh. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicius, Shah worshippers. Dark Justicius? I must see for myself. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. Oh? From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. So how do I find this underground You'll route? need to pick it up where Aradin left off. Find the hidden entrance. It's somewhere in the Temple of Saluna. Sounds like the Underdark is safe for out. Yeah, anything is does. preferable to risking the Shadow Curse. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. Unfinished business, and a lifetime of regret to repair. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thorm and his Dark Justicias years ago, but I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. Ooh. I spent years researching the curse, trying to put an end to it. Nothing has worked. Yet. If I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse. Same as you may find a cure for your infection. What about the grove? I've chosen a successor as first druid, Francesca of the High Forest. A bird's already been dispatched to summon her. Well, couldn't Eddie take over? I need her to stay focused on her training. The grove will need a skilled healer in my absence. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. This oh. is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the Grove in my absence. Well, it sounds like they'll be in good hands then. Indeed. We quite the journey ahead of us. Oak Father's blessings to you. hardly anyone left to share the responsibility with. Few who witnessed the fall of Moonrise still draw breath. What Ketherick Thorm unleashed is not something that nature can undo by itself. I must do what I can. I studied the Shadow Curse for years, but to truly understand it and stop it, I must reach its source. All right. I studied one up close. Closer than most would care to be to those things. A drow attacked me and I defended myself. Afterwards, I was able to examine the tadpole that emerged. Hideous, but oh. fascinating. Like nothing else in nature, I'm glad to say. <laughs> Wonderfully. If I'm honest, the grove was too comfortable for my tastes. I felt removed from nature. I'll miss my books. But I can find all the wisdom they contain out here, first-hand. Hmm. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's flirt. I'm sure something will come to me, given time. Even a paladin needs some TLC. All right, we'll leave. All right, everyone, this will be a short episode, but I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Later.